All right, guys, uh, so much for that. So much for that, so much for the undefeated start. I went into this game with a decent amount of confidence, and, well, it didn't go the way that I thought it would. Um, UW, um, UW falls. Final score is going to be 40-32. to 32. I'm watching UCLA kneel it out. That's the final knee. And the final score is kind of the sort of thing we were expecting. But the way we got there was a little bit... I'm going to call it disappointing here. So... Most people, when they look at this game, are going to be on the UW defense because the defense was really, really bad. They got off to a good start, forcing the fourth down failure in the red zone, uh, getting some pressure on Thompson, forcing him to basically throw it away on fourth down. And I was like, okay, that, that's the kind of stuff that we need. We just need a few of those in this game, and, and we, can, we can win because I had full belief in our offense. And then after that, the defense, not much of anything. There, like the, the moments where the defense was even competent were so few and far between. The secondary was terrible. Receivers running wide open every other play. Like you, uh, if you didn't get pressure on Thompson, he was hitting a wide open receiver every time. It didn't matter what they needed. It could be third and 20. It can be second and 20. He's getting it. He's getting whatever he needs as long as there's no pressure. The tackling, bad. The angles, bad. The penalties, bad. So the defense, yeah, the defense was awful in this game. Except the run defense was kind of okay. But still, a lot of yards given up. There was that one stretch of the game where the run defense kind of just rolled over and took it. Um, I, I thought that outside of that one drive, they were fine. But at the end of the day, you're still looking up and UCLA had well over 150 rushing yards. So, overall, yeah, you look at this game and you're like, this defense is terrible. And, and they are, but, man, I was kind of expecting that. I, I said it wouldn't shock me if UCLA put up 40. And it's still frustrating to watch the incompetency of every level of this defense tonight. Very little pressure on Thompson. In fact, I'd say after the early part of the game, there was basically none. And uh, the, 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 the tackling, the the... The, I don't know what these defensive backs are doing. It, it's really, really deflating to see something like that, but I kind of expected it. I'm not that upset about it. So, yeah, that's that's a problem. The defense is bad, but this offense really, really left me hanging in this one. Th this... uh. This offense, I know at the end of the game they got 32 points, but you're talking about 10 points in the first half, 16 points in the first three quarters. So they scored half their points in the fourth quarter when they were behind by so much. It really didn't really, it, it didn't feel like it mattered that we were scoring. It was like, okay, great, where was this earlier? And, and maybe I'm singing a slightly different tune if the defense can get off the field at the end there and give the offense another chance, but... This was not a good game for the offense. Penix, the numbers are going to be nice. He I, he might have 400 yards. I, I don't know. I think he's got 400 offensive yards in this game. But the interceptions were terrible. They um, took points off the board for UW probably because when he wasn't turning the ball over, we were doing a pretty good job moving it. <laughs> um, and they helped UCLA with their own scores. So... That, that's a game changer there. And for a guy who's done a phenomenal job protecting the ball this year, those were two really bad throws. Um, the offensive line got beat a few times more than... more more. They got beat a lot more than they did the first four games of the year. I'll say that much. Penix got sacked for the first time this year twice. Um, we ran the ball okay, granted. It was not great or anything, but it was fine. But the offensive line didn't look quite as dominant, which maybe we should be expecting because we're playing a better team. Um, I, I don't know. I just expected more from this offense. Like, they go down on that first drive of the game. They go for it on fourth down. Odunzi gets wide open down the sideline. And I'm like, okay, off to the races. And we didn't do that much positive until the fourth quarter after that. 
That's not good enough. When you're playing a team like UCLA, you got to put up a lot of points. And honestly, half of our points tonight were in for the fourth quarter when it felt like garbage time. I know it, we kind of got close there at the end, but it was pretty garbage time. So I, I can't even really get up for that. It, it's, uh, pff, it's a bad game. It's a bad game. Disappointing, deflating, and there, there were some questionable game management decisions. Like, look, I don't want to make this game about anything that happened here because the game was lost for other reasons, but why did we slow everything down in the third quarter? Why were we just running shotgun draws and then trying to pick up every third down after getting to third down? It was like we gave up. And we really could have used the time that ran off the clock in the third quarter when we got to the end and we actually had a chance to win. Probably wouldn't have worked out, but it was like we just kind of laid down in the third quarter of this game and waited to lose. And then in the fourth quarter, it was like, oh, okay, let's uh, actually start running our offense again. There, there were, I think, two drives where we just did shotgun draw, shotgun draw, and then we would try to throw the ball to the sticks on third down. It, it was bizarre. And I understand Penix was not playing well and maybe you lost some faith in him. But he's your quarterback. He's your guy. Oh, no, 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 no. Not dealing with that. But uh, yeah, he, he's your guy. If you don't trust him because he's made a couple bad throws, get another quarterback in there. It's weird to have him out there and then not let him do anything. I, I, don't, I don't get that. That part of it doesn't get me. Uh, it doesn't make sense to me, rather. But um, obviously they showed nice fight in the fourth quarter. I will give them that. They converted several fourth downs. They got the one stop on defense, which... I know it doesn't sound like much, but in a game like this, one stop feels like the world. And I, I, I'm i just mostly disappointed in this offense right now. Like, the defense is bad, but I'm not shocked by that. The defense is probably going to be bad this year, or at least not particularly good. The offense needs to carry, and the offense did not carry at all in this game. I mean, second drive of the game, the defense actually makes a big play, stops them on fourth and goal. And you're running a pitch play? You're running a pitch play at the goal line. And the worst thing possible happens. And it's just... Why would why would you run that play in that situation? It's just so bizarre. And the energy of the game completely changed at that point. I, I, I'm not saying we were going to go score a touchdown on that drive because we were starting our own three. Of course, that's unlikely. But the energy just changed. So... You got to look back at that as a big swing point, uh, 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 a big momentum swing for this game. And why did it happen? Um, I'm also, I, I guess I do have to bring this up. There was a very, very poorly officiated sequence in this game that I'm um, still not happy about at all. Um, UW runs for a first down on third and two, gets called for a bogus holding third and 12. Penix throws an interception. UCLA scores a touchdown the next play. Like, like bite me. Um, we, we had so many penalties in this game. How many yards of penalties did we have in this game? It felt like 200. And some of it was just garbage. So I'm uh, not thrilled about that either. But uh, look, I'm, I'm not saying we have to drastically lower our expectations but uh, this is a little bit deflating for this Husky team, and I, I don't know where we go from here. I know we can win a lot of games, but the offense just didn't show up. Well, they, they showed up eventually, right? They showed up eventually, but I will say this. As some people in the chat tonight did uh, point out, <clears throat> um, this was our first road game, and going on the road in college football matters a lot. And maybe I underestimated that impact. Because our first four games were home games, and we played really, really well in all four games, and you just see things not work quite as well when you're on the road. And maybe that just makes sense. Maybe that just is something that I should have mentally prepared for. But, look, this game was almost a blowout. This game was half was 90% of the way to being a blowout, not even halfway. This game was basically at blowout status, and then we scored 16 points in the fourth quarter, and I don't want to call it garbage time, but it kind of was. So, hey, 
It's still a fun team. It's way more fun than last year. Last year, we would have lost that game like 50-3. to So that's cool. I'm glad we have a team that can score points to get you back in this game. But this was an opportunity to really throw down your throw down your gauntlet as being one of the best teams in the country. And now we're probably going to lose our ranking. I know that doesn't really matter that much, but it would have been nice to keep it another week. And this was a game you were favored in. Maybe you shouldn't have been, but you were. And for a defense that through four weeks I was looking at and thinking it's okay. I didn't think it was good, but I thought it was okay. Now it's like, no, they're not okay. They're they're bad. Like, like you got to look at those first four games and go, they did some good things, they did some bad things. But now they play UCLA's deep offense and it's just, a, a, you get boat raced. So that's disappointing. But again, I'm not shocked by it. I am shocked by how toothless this offense was for about three quarters. All right, I'll, I'll see you guys. Um, see you guys later. Uh, obviously, some uh, pretty cool stuff happening tomorrow in college football. But uh, UW no longer undefeated. Penix no longer a great Heisman contender. Although the stats are going to look pretty nice tonight. Uh, the way he played, I don't think he deserves a lot of praise because so many of those numbers came in garbage time. But anyway. I will talk to you guys later on, bow down to Washington, but uh, the season got a little less fun tonight. Still fun, but a little less fun tonight.